Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Alright, so for today's video guys, we are back on Abyssal with a beautiful Theater of Blood update review. Abyssal is a brand new semi-custom RuneScape private server that has a lot of players, guys, great content, gambling, pretty much anything and everything you could want is here. So make sure and come and join. Last video, we give away 50 insta-code darts and that winner's going down below. For today's video, another 50 insta-code darts. One hits anything guys, so a fat giveaway if you want to enter make sure and like the video comment down below your abyssal ign and of course subscribe to the channel also be notified guys the first comment gets five darts but hey we got a train here let's go i hope you guys enjoy the video hop in the game and let's get into it Alrighty guys, so Theater of Blood has had a huge rework, which is now based on a lobby system, instead of a forced chronological order. So pretty much when you guys start a raid now, you'll be uh, entering a lobby room with portals. We're going to go ahead and simply start a raid. We're going to do a solo right here as well. You'll see uh, this area pretty much already into like a uh, bunch of portals. It's definitely so clean as well. We got Maiden, we got Bloat, we got Vasilis there right there as well. We also have Zarpus and Sadaseg. Then of course in the center, we got the Verzik Fitter Portal. In order to fight Verzik, you need to complete at least one of the other rooms, so meaning you could potentially skip a large portion of the raid to get to the treasure room, but with less points. On top of that, the uh, supply chest has also been changed out, so you'll now earn points to spend them after each kill and can access the chest directly within the lobby room. So you can get all your supplies right here. Some other small changes, Pestle and Blow now provides two times the amount of points compared to the other monsters. Bloat stomp attacking now is a slightly more forgiving attack range and fix the bloat turning timer being broken. So, also gamma raids have been opted to currently require three previous ball shrooms to be completed instead of just one to prevent people rushing Verzig too much while others may prefer to gain more points first. So, that could be switched up in the uh, future, but for now, pretty good change. With that being said, let's hop into it guys. We're going to start off with bloat here considering it gets two times the points. Honestly, not a bad idea just to insta kill dart that and get straight into the boss room. We got double the points and now we got the uh, Dawnbringer. You feel a pulse of energy burst through it. Your boy Rex, you found a brand new way to do raids, bro. Death touch darts could be expensive, but it's kind of fun. So after that, we enter the treasure room. All right, so we got 21,000 points. Do we have a, a rare? No, unfortunately, dude. Dragon arrow tips, grimy dwarf weeds, grimy qualm. I will say this is a very unique addition, especially for people maybe wanting to learn like one certain ball. So say Sada Seg, you don't have it down too much. You could consistently do that balls back to back till you get all of its mechanics down and still get the uh, treasure room by just killing Verzik right after. So we're going to do a, a couple more. Now we're going to start with the uh, maiden. Another treasure room. Come on, I just want a purple, dude. Please, please. Unfreaking fortunate, dude. Unfortunate. Honestly, might as well keep doing bloat because it's giving me times two points. Now let's try it with doing multiple. So we did bloat. Let's try maiden. Then we'll do a couple more and then loot the chest. So let's go into the maiden now. Maiden's done as well. Now we're going to do Sada Sec. Basically just going for all the ones we can uh, one hit with our death touch darts. So yeah, this is the third one. Then we'll go for the balls. Let's go. Hopefully we actually get a lot this time. Bro, wait. New collection log unlock. Sanguine staff. Let's freaking go. Is this a purple? It's gotta be. It says it right there. New collection log, dude. We're about to get a purple chest. Holy shit. That's so freaking sick, dude. Wrecked has received a sanguine staff. Theater blood. 4 to KC. Easy fucking game, bro. That's huge. Thank you for the gratis as well. Boys coming through. Dude, that feels so good. Now I don't feel like I wasted death touch darts either, so let's go. So yeah, I would say a lovely new update here for Abyssal, especially if you enjoy raid grinding. Like, this is huge, guys. First collection log reward for Theater of Bloods. So that's so sick, dude. But yeah, we are going to wrap today's video up there, guys. Just wanted to make it short and sweet today. Literally just show you all that the update is out. There's so much stuff here you guys can check out, plenty of upgrades. It is a semi-custom, so you can do a colon colon daily, check out a bunch of daily tasks, battle pass rewards, different perks. Also, uh, their achievements alone are fucking huge and can award you a lot, guys. So check up achievements and um, stay active daily. It's a brand new server pushing out a lot of updates. Pretty consistent, guys. So if y'all come and join, the links are down below. But with that being said, make sure and type colon colon refer and erect you for that starter pack once you join. 
and it's worth 50 insta kill dart giveaway. Go uh, use those on some bosses, guys. Get lucky. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one, and peace.